Okay, so your job is to sketch one cycle of the graph y is equal to two, negative 2 cosine x minus pi over 2 in the parentheses over here. And you need to identify the period, the phase shift, and the asymptotes as well as where each x coordinate is on the graph. So taking this right here, I'm going to label these as a, b, and c for simplicity's sake. And so that when you're doing these, it's a little bit easier to identify everything. So the amplitude is simply just the number in front of the of cosecant or right here. So this says negative 2 right here. And you take the absolute value of that number right here. So the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. And that's the distance away from 0. Period, on the other hand, right here, is essentially 2 pi over your value of b right here. So I took 2 pi. And I divided it by 1 because there's no coefficient in front of the x value right here, which is where b would be. But since there's no um, stated coefficient, you know that if there's nothing in front of x, it's just 1. So 2 pi divided by 1, or anything divided by 1, is just itself. So 2 pi is your period. That doesn't change. Your phase shift over here. Now there's a couple ways you could solve this, but the way I did it was I took what was inside here. Here, x minus pi over 2 and set it equal to 0, but there's also another way that you can do this too, and I'll show you that in a minute, or explain it at least. So, I added pi over 2 to the other side, and said that x was equal to pi over 2, which would mean a shift to the right of pi over 2. What you could also do, going back to labeling this b and c, take the c value, which is pi over 2, and then divide it by the coefficient of the b value, or excuse me, of x right here, which would be the b value, so pi over 2 divided by 1 is just pi over 2. So it doesn't matter, really. You get the same answer either way. Now, were this unchanged right here, this problem right here, cosecant, that is, if it weren't shifted, the asymptotes would be at 0, pi, and 2 pi. But since we shifted it to the right here, those will all change. So you'll shift to the right, pi over 2 from that, 0, pi over 2 from that, pi, and pi over pi over 2 to the right of pi, excuse me, 2 pi, leaving you with 2 pi, oh, excuse me, pi over 2. Let's see if you can see that a little clearer. 3 pi over 2, and it's supposed to say 5 pi over 2, but it doesn't look like it does. So, so it actually says 3 pi over 2, but no, this right here, I'll fix that in one second. 5 pi over 2. That's not that just a little mistake. Okay, so, <clears throat> so now when you're sketching the graph, make sure that your um, points here actually are kind of, how do I want to word this? You know, I had a really good wording for this before the hand, but anyways, make sure that your 1 can line up with your pi over here, and remember that pi is 3.14, so make sure it's proportional. Proportional, that's the word I was looking for. So your 1 obviously shouldn't be longer than pi on your y-axis or over here. So remember we shifted because of the phase shift to the right, pi over 2, which is what that is. It's very hard to see in my writing, I know. But that says pi over 2 right there, so it's essentially 1 half of pi. And that's where our first asymptote is. Our other one at 3 pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2. And this is all 2 pi right here from pi over 2 to 5 pi over 2. So that's the length of the whole period right here, from this dotted line right here to that dotted line. And now, notice that because that negative 2 right here is there, that means that the negative at least means that you the 2 were flipped originally. So if that negative wasn't there, this right here would be down here instead. And I've marked the point where that vertex would have been, I guess, or, the, or the, what's called the local extrema, at least. That's the highest that that point would go, and that's the lowest that that point would go. But because that negative is in front right here, that comes down over here, and these lines over here will approach the asymptotes, but will never touch. And the 2 means that, when you zoom in a little bit closer, that they start at negative 2 as opposed to 1, which is where they would have started had that 2 not been there. So, that's the lowest that that part goes over here, and that's the highest that this part goes over here. And, yeah, let's make sure I'm not leaving anything out here. Period is 2 pi whole thing right there, whole thing right there, it's at 
negative 2, and that one's at positive 2, and these would have been like this had that been positive, but, it's be but because it's negative, they flipped right here, right there, and... Oh yes, x-coordinates. That is now at pi. It would have been at pi over 2 right here. And that is now at 2 pi, and that would have been at 3 pi over here. So these points would have shifted over here, but because we shifted it from 0, pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, I should say, everything moves by pi over 2. And so, there's your graph.